Mr. Blue here. Completely forgot to film an intro screen. Um, so, hi everyone. Welcome to Blue Lotus Gardens. This is my plant blog. My name is Blue Phoenix. My pronouns are they, them. I make fun planty videos for my found knowledge and then also share with you this fun plant vlog of what I do behind the scenes of my plant shop uh, and daily a little bit of my daily life too. Blue, uh, at Blue Lowe's Gardens, my home, home base plant shop at Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you all enjoy. Hi everyone, welcome. So today I'm going to show y'all uh, how I'm going to set up my plants inside. It's getting cold, so I'm going to either like, I don't know, I think move everything inside and just try to see where everything can fit. <laughs> until I get like a, a greenhouse going in the backyard for now. Well, it looks like the plants re withstanded the cold at night. They're doing pretty well. I had to bring in the coffee plant, but this one's doing pretty good over here. I'm just gonna place in some sun. And then over here, a little cacti section that looks good and then my hosta begonia section I'm just gonna leave it here see what happens but yeah all right so I'm trying to like rescue my my herbs over here this is my eucalyptus lemon tree and so I'm rescuing that. Um, I have another couple other ones, but I put them in different containers. This is my big begonia bush. I just put it all in one container, as you see here. So I'm just gonna water it, uh, and over here as well. And then I put this little stuff on top, just to kind of like keep keep it like healthier from the on the roots from the top. So we'll see how that goes. I really want these to. Be saved. I have, it's really hard to find them. So, look at Marley. Hi, Marley. Oh, this is a good shot. Oh, she's so pretty. Marley. 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 Okay, bye. Hello, everyone. So I'm going to step back to show you all, all the progress I've been doing this morning since 2 a.m. <laughs> I felt, oops, excuse me. I filmed my video, about to go drop this off. I got a greenhouse that I have to pack. I mean, greenhouse that I have to pack. I have to make, and I'll show you all how I'm going to make it. I have some things that I'm going to include into the, the, the greenhouse, like begonias. I have... Ooh, I also have this little string of hearts. I'm just gonna pop in there. Ah! It fell. Oh, I have this little white nerve plant in here. Don't mind the yellowing monstera. It's there until it just dies off. I couldn't just throw it away. It was too pretty. Look at that. Um, I got these at the Rar and Sons um, event. So all this is just going in there. But yeah, you're gonna see some really fun things. Also, check out my new cart. I got a Target, Target. Oh, look at this big old Monstera. This leaf, it's all beautiful. My little Dracaena corn plants, I love those. I have this little philodendron neon in here. I'm just gonna like roll down the street. Y'all want some plants? <laughs> Where's my ZZ at? Oh, it's over there. But look how pretty it looks. I just uh, feel so happy. Everything's so clean. So I'm gonna make. I made. A, I'm gonna make a video on how to care for your uh, begonia when it goes dormant. So y'all. To refer to that uh, I've taken care of begonias and this really doesn't like bother me um, I just know there's like new growth there and I'll talk to y'all about how to care for it 
Okay, so this is a new method that I'm going to do. I'm going to add um, cocoa coir, perlite, and then um, soil into the mix. And then you're going to see me use it for the plants that I'm about to film over here. You might see them in a fa fast forward motion, but um, afterwards I'll talk about them and let y'all all know which ones I'm doing. And then I also have some plant mail that I have to... Uh, I have some plant mail also. Let me show y'all. Here's all this plant mail. Um, I traded a lot of cuttings for um, some really fun cuttings that are going to come in. So I'm so excited to show y'all. And then I also threw in some extra fun cuttings for them. Why not? And then <laughs> this beautiful chaos. Look at these really pretty um, gifts that I was given recently. I love this little glittery pot and then this really cool um, pumpkin pot and then this beautiful terrarium such amazing gifts thank you all right here we are everyone I am all done and it's I added all the perlite and then all the soils that I had so I'm gonna say it's probably like two handfuls of perlite that are in there and about three quarts of soil, three quarts, three, four quarts of soil are in there. So it'd probably be better if I use a lot more perlite, but it's fine. Um, this just means to not water as much and I'm just gonna just not water it whenever uh, I place them in the, when I repot all the plants in there, you'll see. Alrighty, really excited to try out some new things and just kind of like experiment, you know. Here's the soil. It's already moist, so I'm not going to like uh, water it. I'm start off with my variegated burl marks. I have two of them there. So here it is. There's that nice uh, variegated leaf right there. Um, this one's not variegated, but the new growth has... This one over here is... So I just kind of wanted enough energy for all the new growth to be supported, basically, and see how it goes. Should probably switch it. Okay, much better. I think this is better. That way it's all facing in one direction when it's in my... Um, grow tent. <laughs> Did you know you can actually propagate a tiny doll from uh, from stem? So I'm not using much soil in here. I'm just using a little bit until it really grows into it. These roots. So nice. Oop. The cutting. And I'm just placing these cuttings in here. Here. They're like semi rooted. They'll survive. Because things are more likely to, to survive in a grow tent, you know? Oh, these have roots. I should put these in here first. I'm just gonna place back in the in this little sphagnum moss container. And then um, grow them out a little bit more until I pot them up. Next I'm placing these Syngonium elbows in here. Really been wanting a Syngonium elbow for the longest. I'm so glad I got this one. So here you, here is a Syngonium elbow. And then it's new growth uh, looks to be like it's going to be variegated because of the stem. So I'm excited to see that grow. Next, uh, this is all the uh, Syngonium that was not, um, that did not have any like variegation to it. So I'm just, I think I'm just gonna place it all in one. 
So these are the two Syngonium that I have chopped up from the Alvo, reverted Alvo Syngonium. Their stems do not seem like they have any variegation to them, but I just, I, I still like that. their shape. They're just easy and fun and they trail. So I just, I like that. Next, I have some Hoya Pupicalyx uh, cuttings that I've been growing. So we're gonna pop that up. This way I get to like, I have it in this container. And this way I get to see like if, uh, how Hoyas grow into this kind of like medium as well, if they like it. So this is how it looks. Next, I have part of this uh, uh, Earl Marks. It was the part that was not reverted, or the, the part that was reverted and not, not, uh, not variegated. So I'm going to uh, pop that up right now into this container. I think it will fit into here. I'm not sure. I think I did this right. As you see, uh, it's it's it has like that new growth in there as well. So you can see that. Well, this is definitely a lot of plants. <laughs> uh, I'm just really glad I got them all potted up. I'll probably need to buy more medium, but that's all, all good. Uh, all right, super cool. Thank you all so much for joining me on my repotting. If you ever wa wanna ask me a question during my repotting, I have a Q and A in my on my uh, Instagram and all that information is in the intro screen and down below so that you can always uh, refer to that and uh, if you have any questions uh, always ask and then I'll definitely uh, answer them during my repots. Till next time everybody. Look at my little terrarium. Look how, I think it looks so nice. Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. Today I am on a plant hunt and I um, purchased a plant, so I'm excited to go get it. It's a little farther away, but we are on our way to go get it. So excited, oh my God. Look at my grow tent, I just gotta always show y'all. Oh my God, look at all those beautiful plants. All right, y'all, sorry on the mess. <laughs> Got a little fun over here with all the propagations, but I took a propagation and I'm just basically like, uh, I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna propagate it. This will be first introduced to my Patreon plant club, but as you see, you could propagate it from here and then place it in water and then just wait till it roots. How cool is that? I'm so excited. Oh my god. Thank you. I bought I bought this from a from a lady and on uh on Facebook, so Alright everyone, so I propagated the wind landi. It's right over here. I'm gonna make a spot for it over there in my grow tent. Here's some more. These are the Sigoniums, the regular Sigoniums. Um, here's the variegated bro marks. Tribuli. Sigonium Albo. Look at this new leaf that's unfurling. Ah, uh, it's my first Sigonium Albo, y'all. Like, so excited. And I saved the variegation from it. How cool is that? 
Oh my god. I just love this. It's just so beautiful. And then like my little rehab begonias and things like that. Look at that Squammy Ferrum, yo. Oh my god. Squammy. Squammy. Oh my god. All right. And then this is like the Hoya station. Look at all that. None but Hoyas and a begonia. And some dish eye, but still. Hoya station. Look at that little baby. It gives off so many babies. I think that's gonna be the 12th baby it's given. But I just take a little Topo Chico water in here and just let it get watered. Oh my god. I had to bring this in. I'm just going to pot them all up. I think we're going to pot them into like a six inch container and then just use this to either. Uh, you can find these on my website, but I think I'm going to use these for. Uh, the rat for a tetrasperma that I have if nobody buys it so I could just let it keep on growing and just take on propagation from that so see how that goes today so I just got my box that I did a uh, plant cutting tree so I'm excited to show y'all hi everyone today I received some plant mail so we're going to unbox it so I have my package right over here so excited and if y'all like want to ever uh, trade I have what I can trade um, on my Instagram and you can see on a highlight of mine on there where it's look where it's named trade and you uh, ask me what was available if some things might be available some things might not be available but I'm working for some new things for my Instagram so I'm really excited to eventually share those with you all currently I have some mystery plants going on and uh, they've been a hit, so thank you so much for purchasing for me from my Instagram. I really, really, really appreciate it. So excited. Okay. So... So I've, I've been looking for a Glacier Pothos, everybody. I've been looking for exact Glacier Pothos, and this is it. This is a Glacier Pothos. As you could tell, um, the white on it, the, it's a little bit more prominent. So now I know. I need like a, a visual reference sometimes for it. Uh, oh, this little, uh, so I got this little spathophyllum, uh, peace lily. <laughs> it's so cute. I've been wanting one, but I want to, I want to grow one out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's just how I am. And so I really appreciate that. I think that's so cute. <laughs> um, I also got this little, uh, Skindapsis tribui, Moonlight. And um, this little Calathea baby. The leaves are probably gonna like die off, but uh, I could pot it up, put it in my grow tent, and it'll definitely um, do well. I also, and then I also received um, a whole bunch of these little mother of thousand uh, babies. So that's so cute. Uh, I'm gonna just 
put them in a in like little in a little area and just grow them out and like until they just until they're just like a whole bunch but like in a very closed environment you know what i mean get a whole bunch of them to like really stocked up because i know they just grow they grow like crazy though so i'm excited to see that and then just give them out as gifts that'll be fun so excited so if y'all want to ever just like trade with me um i'll have like things available i'll on my Instagram, I'll post on there and you are always welcome to ask me, message me and let me know um, if that's available still and um, see what we could do. I am really trying to expand my collection and um, I'm really focused on my plant club and I'm getting it there and I'm, there's a lot of like new new things that you, you all really like and so look at my stories and make sure that you know. There's uh, updates on what is gonna be available for my plant club for the next month, so. Thank you all so much for my new Patreon members. I really appreciate y'all so much. Um, I'm excited to just really keep on growing this business with you all. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good day. Bye everyone. I think this one is just the cutest.